my topic is god's twist god's twist friends first kings chapter 17th has many twist in the life of people unexpected things happened in people's life yet god brings his divine twist in their lives today are you really worried about your children's future are you really despondent about your health women in zarafat had the same problems and situations let us read that story in first kings chapter 17 10 to 13 it's a long story but let me try to read it briefly so he arose and went to zarafat and when he came to the gate of the city indeed a widow was there gathering sticks and he called her and said please bring me a little water in a cup that i may drink verse 11 says and as she was going to get it he called to her and said please bring me a morsel of bread in your hand so she said as the lord your god lives i don't have bread only a handful of flour in a bin and a little oil in a jar and see i am gathering a couple of sticks that i may go in and prepare it for myself and my son that we may eat it and die verse 13 says and elijah said to her don't fear go and do as you have said but make me a small cake from it first and bring it to me and afterward make some for yourself and your son you know my saints when she trusted the words of god when she believed the prophet's command what was the result first king chapter 17 14 to 16 says for thus says the lord god of israel the bin of flour shall not be used up nor shall the jar of oil run dry until the day of the lord sends rain on the earth so she went away and did according to the word of elijah and she and he and her household ate for many days the bin of flour was not used up nor did the jar of oil run dry according to the word of the lord which he spoke by elijah my friends today are you really nervous about your life are you really concerned about tomorrow you may think everything is over and there is nothing to prosper in your life but remember god has a different plan for you god will make a turning point he will make a twist in your life here is the prophecy isaiah 32 verse 2 says a man will be as a hiding place from the wind and a cover from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of the great rock in a weary land that's the prophecy for you don't worry about tomorrow don't worry don't worry what is going to happen in your life in the future leave it to god god will bring a turning point in your life god will make a twist in your life you will be surprised when god puts his hand in your home let's pray father in heaven thank you so much dear lord when there was famine when when there was shot of everything there was no resources but the women of zarafat was blessed because she put god first thank you so much dear lord for this wonderful story help us to seek the kingdom of god and your righteousness so that everything shall be added unto us thank you for the promise and thank you for the prophecy help us to cast our future in your hand 
In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen and Amen. God bless you.